We're back, people, and today we're bringing on film on Jacob Cowing, 2024 NFL draft receiver. This is my first uh, draft breakdown of this year. We'll get them out slowly, and then during the offseason, going to really start pumping these things out. I love me a small, explosive receiver, and I feel like he's just under the radar right now, super underrated. He's going to the Senior Bowl, so I expect him to raise his stock there. Overall, really like his game. Like, as a route runner, I think he's fluid. He gets in and out of his breaks very quickly. I think he does a decent job with pace as well, just understanding, like, uh, how to get open, glide, and then use that explosiveness to get past people. He separates using that athletic ability. And he's also a little bit just more than athleticism. Uh, like, I mean, just straight line speed. He has all the athletic traits that you're looking for. Balance, body control, change of direction, makes plays at the catch point. After the catch is really where I think he'll make his money early on in the year, uh, early on in his career. I think Jaden Reed from the Packers is a good rookie comparison. Just with exactly how he's used, I think he could be that guy fitting into the slot for his team. Uh, can get open underneath and then I think you know he can make some plays vertically down the field uh, not like his biggest strength overall but he's definitely capable of that and then when it comes to like smaller receivers and I think how they'll translate to the next level I think I like to look at how they make plays at the catch point point. Um, and I think Cowing overall is pretty strong at the catch point he has good body control he can make adjustments whether it's in contested or non-contested situations I don't need as a small guy to win every contested play but just being you know enough aware of it he can get physical i think he plays a little bigger than his size indicates he's not like a lead at the catch point or anything but he definitely can track the ball well has good awareness good ball skills down the field will snag those things out of the air and it's uh pretty fun to watch him make some plays and uh, just be explosive with that ball in his hands i think that's where he's just really exciting to watch and He's uh, pretty tough to bring down, just like watching these players play bigger than their size, and I expect him to have a nice little jump in this offseason once people can really watch him get going, and he's just one of my favorite players right now. Any team could really use him with his speed and explosiveness at the next level. Start with this play versus Washington. Most of these plays will be on the broadcast view, but a couple all 22. This is just good job creating separation. I like seeing him set up these routes. When I could think he could add a little more savvy nuance at times to his routes here, but here he just sets this up beautifully. Good pace. He like look how he slow plays it initially, like like he might uh drag across because uh, usually they sell that initial move, but he's selling that he's really gonna work across here, and then boom, six half foot in the ground, and when this guy's still five yards away and just explodes past him. The ball doesn't get completed because the quarterback just completely misses him, throws it out of the back of the end zone, doesn't give his receiver a chance, but he actually absolutely smokes this guy. Just has really good separation ability, sticking that foot in the ground, change that direction so fast, and then accelerate past his guy. Just, I think he has a lot of upside as a route runner, and he'll immediately, I think, make an impact just as a guy who can get the ball in his hands um, oh, pretty much anywhere, whether it's designed or just like in that intermediate short part of the field, working the middle as like a slack guy. But then I think, you know, as the years go on, he can really develop and be a, a downfield threat too. Another solid play here from Cowing, this time in the slot. Just good job working off, you know, this rub and then making that adjustment at the catch point and then awareness to get the feet in bounds. Love the timing of this. You got to understand slow play. He's like raising his pad level too. Usually when they raise their pad level like this, it shows like they're going to break and uh, sink back. But he's selling this and then getting to the outside, um, accelerate and then make this adjustment. See that it's going to be back shoulder, track the ball through and then uh, catch it on that back shoulder, get a foot in bounds, maybe two. And it's just good overall plays at the catch point that I really like about his game. And I think that can translate pretty well to the next level usually when it comes to those smaller guys if they make these types of plays it usually ends up being uh showing that some good projection to the nfl level just a you know normal solid dig play here i just want to see him running some you know regular routes i feel like he just does a good job uh bending this thing off getting horizontally which is what you want to see going for some zone coverage looks like they're playing some quarters to this side of the field and this they basically kind of have him bracketed by how they're playing this this you know outside quarters guy they have the safety in quarters who has natural inside leverage but he bends this thing off pretty nicely and i do like his initial get off of the ball he takes a slight angle to the outside he wants to you know open these guys up so he can you know bend this back to the inside and then get horizontal catch the ball working over the middle of the field doesn't slow down pretty comfortable there at the catch point ready to take on a hit just pretty standard stuff, nothing crazy there, but that's the type of plays you want to see from a guy who could be labeled as like a gadget player. I think he's more than that. Like this from Cowing down the red zone, just beating some press, uh, just under control, get off the ball, split release, and then just get across explosively. 
across the field on the, you know those crossers down in the red zone that's a definite way to score down there and i think you know a lot of times people think of bigger guys having success down the red zone sometimes a lot of these smaller guys that just know how to create separation he does not even doing anything too special he just gets that right foot outside the frame of the db gets to a freeze him just long enough to now work all the way across the field and make this catch in the end zone got cowing down here in the slot beating man to man down you know inside near the goal line again change of direction he beats this guy so bad the ball is even thrown behind him it doesn't really matter um just come off the ball under control he does a good job manipulating pace and then, you know hard stab with that right foot i feel like you know he can do a little better job selling him but he's giving his eyes he's bringing that knees to his chest really selling like he's going to work to the inside which freezes the db long enough gets him to take that false step and now he creates that separation back to the outside catch the ball down in the end zone just good job uh, he's got the hoodie on cowing so you know if you got the hoodie on underneath the you know the football jersey you you gotta be good another job of cowing down in the red zone like this little jerk route from him he's did this a lot at arizona these big plays multiple big time plays down in the red he did this all parts of the field but in the slot they work him as the number three they get him aligned up whether it's on like a safety or a linebacker and he just runs this route where he just run look like he's gonna sit and they gives him a little jerk change of directions he's very explosive these guys get, you know, lazy with their eyes. He really does a good job of rolling these guys to sleep and then exploding across, catch that ball. Pretty fearless working across the middle two, ready to take a hit if it's going to happen. And then even just like, you could just see the athleticism here to make, that guy tries to hit him in the end zone, the play's over, and he still just spins out of it like that. Like even these types of like little things that don't matter to the play itself, I feel like can sometimes show you like, oh, that guy's, you know, that guy's a player, that guy's an athlete on the field. Arizona did a good job of getting him like one-on-ones with linebackers down in the slot as that number three. He just does a good job of slow playing this, working down the middle of the field, making that catch, just blows right by him. Nothing too insane, but I do like the nuance here of just the leverage attacking hard inside. He wants to give this guy enough of a move here so he looks like he might break across his face, which gets this guy to fall step right there. And then boom, sticks up in the ground and he just explodes right past him, has so much speed catches that ball in stride he's very comfortable making those plays down the field that's where you can tell that he's a good tracker of the football as well here at cowing working some more stuff down in the slot just getting that ball in space and it's just boom explosive it's a solid you know initial route but the guy's kind of bailing out on him nothing too crazy he has that inside leverage but he's bailing out off the snap gets him to open up his hips catch that ball and then just look how explosive he gets after the play he just catches that ball and turns and then this move right here is what i want to see when you transition up field like this like you're working at like a uh, an angle here like almost like a 45 and you stick that foot in the ground and just get vertical like that that quickly get past him this is special athletic movement not a lot of guys when they make that cut right there not a lot of guys like accelerate out of these cuts they usually slow down on them and he is able to accelerate instantly doesn't really slow down at all that's a very nice movement skills it makes me feel very confident in his his ability to translate to the next level cowing in the slot just working he knows quick out pick up that first down catch that ball but then stay in bounds and just get upfield vertically um like this stuff from him a lot of guys would just go out of bounds but he catches it secures and then you see the change of direction to be able to slow down with your momentum here and then after slowing down enough so where you don't go out of bounds and then to instantly re-accelerate up the field, pick up an extra 10 yards after the catch. This is good stuff. This is where you can really see his acceleration ability, his ability to decelerate, slow down, and then instantly re-accelerate is special for, uh, for a wide receiver. And I really, really enjoy that part of his game. Another quality um, play here from Cowing. Does just gets down. Pretty solid play there initially, but then just the after the catch ability, breaking tackles. We'll go back, look at this uh this guy just has off-man coverage pretty you know scared threatened by cowing speed he just sells like he's gonna work vertically doesn't do anything crazy but then work away come back towards the ball catch that ball and then now instantly turn into a threat this is where i really want to you know show off this play boom change directions run through an arm tackle he has enough contact balance and play strength to do this stuff with dbs he'll run through some arm tackles he's not going to you know physically dominate people but there's enough there for him to make these types of plays and then fight for the end zone dive into it good stuff love the awareness too of where he's out in the field he just is a very uh, intelligent football player here we you know sell the stocks uh, stock block right here boom get out in space nothing too crazy you know he's just selling the block but i do like the play at the catch point going above the frame sometimes you know it's pretty basic he'll catch it in the chest uh on those types of routes but i like to see him working down the field ball is not perfectly thrown he has to go up catch it. you can see him comfortably in the air body control 
going above the frame, uh, good hands catch as well, and then instantly after that, still staying on his feet, a lot of guys when they have to turn around like this and make this type of play, they'll fall over, but he has enough athleticism, balance, body control that he instantly turns into a threat after the catch too, which is uh, very, very impressive. That's uh, a little thing I think goes unnoticed on these types of plays is usually people are expecting you to stay up but a lot of times on these types of plays receivers don't stay up or if they do stay up it, they're like off balance he instantly turns into a threat after the catch show this play cowing down here at the bottom running a double move we don't get to really see too much of it on the screen but just making a play down at the catch point I like to see this from the smaller guys getting physical even gets a little bit of a push off here but you know when you're a smaller guy you can get away with these push offs without you know getting the pass interference is usually called as long as you don't make it too obvious. But I like to see him getting physical down on the field and route set, making that adjustment on the back shoulder, getting there. These are important plays. I mean, he had multiple overtime touchdowns in this USC game. I think they ended up losing, but him alone was really trying to keep them in this. And I like to see these types of plays from those smaller receivers. Really like his, his outlook in this uh, NFL draft class. This is a nasty route from Cowing. Look how he sells this one up. Uh, you can see from his initial move right here, it looks like it's going to be the fade, you know, working off the rub. That's exactly what he's trying to sell here. He does a good job of it. He's not trying to do anything too crazy. Make it look like this is a sell job, which it is. And then boom, hard change of direction. Once it makes it look like this guy's working over the top, he sold the fade perfectly. Get back to the inside. And this is really nice athleticism, the ability to change direction like this. Look how he's showing that lower body flexion. Get out of it, point that toe, and then catch the ball. And then there's another guy trying to hit him from the middle. He slows it down. He's showing that intelligence. This is where that ball is going to be. This is where the window is. Doesn't just instantly run into a defender and then, you know, pull that body away, protect himself from the big hit. Those are really nice level plays from like a whole standpoint from, you know, setting it up, good nuance in your route, explosive change of direction ability, and then the football intelligence to finish it. I want to show this play from UTEP just to show off some, you know, ball skills down the field. One hander. It's not like super clean, but it's a nice play down the field nonetheless. Definitely got to show that he's capable of this ability. It's not like he's going to do this all the time, but that in the air, the body control, the tracking, his eyes are on it the whole time. That's pretty impressive stuff. Uh, concentration down the field, all of that beautiful from Cowing. Here at Cowing, working some more stuff over the middle of the field, selling it on these jerk routes, these shake routes. They get him aligned on these linebackers and he's just setting them up. He's done it for some safeties, DBs as well, but just this is where he can thrive over the middle of the field. He just sits down, shakes the right side. He's just got those fluid hips. These guys get moved off their spot every single time he catches it, and then he has that speed to just burst up the field, pick up some extra yards after the catch. Here to see Cowing, he was motioning across. They just gave him the ball down in the flat, very comfortable in this area, you know, just on these like dump offs, screen types of scenarios. This one's just, you know, more of a classic dump off down into the flat and he just makes people miss on space this is where i think you know he's going to look good right away he instantly just turns into a threat look how he just is already ready to change direction this guy's overflow he's got a good feel for out in space breaks those arm tackles instantly accelerates out of it has the speed to pull away from these guys and then i like how he finishes his, even though it doesn't really matter i like how he finishes the runs in bounds or not in bounds uh, on his feet going out of bounds i don't like you know when they always are going to the ground you can tell that shows he has some good balance ability because he doesn't really need when he's getting hit low like this he doesn't really need to stay on his feet he knows he's going out of bounds but that it just shows some good athletic traits there that he does stay on his feet when getting hit low like that it has just a good natural feel i'll let some of the other feel play out because that was the last play i was going to break down overall like what i've seen from him some separation ability uh work at all three levels down the field impact player he can make some plays at the catch point pretty physical gonna make his money right away as you know yards after catch guy could be, even be like a threat as a returner as well like that look at outlook as a special teams guy and just overall big fan of his game excited to see where he ends up going in the draft i think a lot of teams could use his help so if you guys are the video make sure to like subscribe to the guys, peace